What happened when the black nail polish walked into a bar? It doesn't matter. Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And for millions of years, you guys have been asking me to do a what's the best matte top coat. What is a matte top coat and why would anyone want it, you ask? Well, basically, you put it on top of shiny nail polish to make it not shiny. I've done this a few times, still debating those life choices. But hey, I've heard people say once you go matte, you can't go back, but you know what I say to that? Happy hollow days, bitch, cause hollow is where it's at. And I'm starting the actual video now. I've got 12 different matte top coats to test out for you today. Here you can obviously see that some of them f***ing suck, like really bad. Some companies obviously don't know what a matte top coat is supposed to do. Let's test all 12 and we'll see which ones tell the truth. Since a matte top coat is typically best well seen over top of black nail polish, I'm painting a bunch of nail swatch thingies with my favorite black nail polish. You can watch that video if you haven't already. Let's start off with the Revlon's matte top coat. Matte top coat. Creative naming over there. Now I'm applying it on the fully dried black nail polish. Wow. Aren't you glad that you clicked on this really exciting video? It's just as exciting as watching paint dry, isn't it? Just remember that you guys asked for this. Okay, everybody, that is a Revlon's matte top coat, fully dried. Yes, it is actually fully dried and it still looks kind of shiny. On to the next. This one is called Fresh Paint. The matte look could be described as the opposite of fresh paint, so that's ironic. And this is the part where you question why you are subscribed to this channel. Wow, that also does not look mad at all. Let's continue. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, that's enough. This one was two dollars from Walmart, so I'm sure it's gonna be great. Yep, real good job there. Pure ice. Now let's try NYC's Matt Me Crazy. Wow, what a creative name. This video is getting more and more exciting as it goes on. Okay, am I doing something wrong? Cause like these all look like shit so far. And yes, I have waited more than a full five minutes to let these dry. So it's not that they're still wet, you smart ass. Let's try our luck with Orly's Matte Top Coat. Why is it orange? I don't know. Oh, it's not really orange. It's clear. <laughs> Would you look at that? This one seems to be a bit more matter, uh, ma ma mattier. What's the word I'm looking for? But it's not what I expected. So next, oh my gosh, it's the matte effect top coat. Matte as in Matthew. And no, as a matter of fact, that is not the French. The French is the second line. Top coat, matte effet. There's, there's a big difference. <gasps> wow, that one is actually matte. Okay, finally. See, it's not me, it's them. <laughs> Let's try L'Oreal, the magic top coats collection. The matte velvet, 800. What the f off? Oh, you, man. I paid good drugstore money for this and this is what you give me. Some bullshit brush that didn't cut its hair properly. All right, here we go. This one is also matte. Yay. We're gonna have to compare these all together later because my memory already forgets which one, if any, may be better. <laughs> Let's try out Essie. This one is a classic. I don't like you, but I'm mad about you. <laughs> yes, Essie. <laughs> F yeah, the mat soul brother. Right about now, the mat soul. Okay, I'm going. 
One of the biggest competitors to Essie is OPI, so let's try it right after. <laughs> OPI matte top coat peel here. One thing about OPI brushes is that they are very wide, which is actually a good thing when you're applying a matte top coat because you want less brush strokes and therefore less streaks. Ooh, very matte, very nice. Now let's try the less popular little sister of OPI, that's Nicole by OPI. Most people have forgotten about her by now, but she's still around. What the f**k, Nicole? Stop transferring. <laughs> For the record, all the black polish swatches were fully dried when I did this. This one just seems to have picked it up for some reason. <laughs> Um, you almost look exactly like the other nail polish, which was made by the same company that made you. Interesting. Coincidence. What does an Australian with a sense of humor put on a bottle of matte nail polish? Good day, Matt. <laughs> hey, it works. As good as the other ones? I don't remember. And now for the final matte top coat test. Cirque Matte Look TM Top Coat. Or Cirque, if you want to be Francaise. Please ignore those two little dents on the side. One of them was my fault on the black coat, and the other one was also my fault later. <laughs> Other than that, it looks matte. All right, let's review. Most of them are matte. Let's eliminate the ones that are clearly shitty first. No, 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 no. And a couple more that are matte, but not as matte as the others. No, no. Ah, oh, f we have too many left, I can't decide. We're gonna have to go to a round two. All right, here they are all again. Fully dried, and I'm shining my phone light over them so you can really see which ones are not reflecting the light. It's clear to me that some reflect the light a bit more than others, and the point of matte is you don't want any light. Think number three, one, and five reflect the light more than the other two do, so let's eliminate those. Oh, this is so f***ing tough. One of them has these tiny little white dots, which in my experience are a product of the matte top coat just getting old. I've had this Essie matte top coat for several years, probably as many years as some of you have been alive. And what I think happens is when it gets old, the little crusties fall into the bottle and then when you put them on your nail, they look like white crusties. Most of the other top coats I tested, however, I haven't really used. So therefore, I am concluding that the white crusties are only a product of being old and not a deep effect of the product itself. And for that reason, because this one is madder than that one, we are going to declare Essie Matte About You as the winner of What's the Best Matte Top Coat. And now, let's honor the winner by putting it on my nails. Ooh. Fascinating. Riveting stuff, really. Mother f***ing crusty. Cannot escape. <laughs> Should have just bought a new one, Christine. Now I just want to touch on a couple things before everyone asks me in the comments. <laughs> well, simply nailogical, aren't you supposed to apply a quick dry glossy taco first and then apply a matte top coat for it to work the best? Well, if you mean work by be more matte, uh, no, that doesn't make a difference. However, if you're doing nail art and you have a fancy design on your nails, then absolutely you want to apply a quick dry top coat first so that you avoid smearing the design and then you make it matte after. But I'm not doing nail art in this video, am I? No, just putting the matte top coat on the black and that is fairly straightforward. Doesn't need to be more complicated. Am I gonna do a what's the best quick dry glossy taco video? No, because in my opinion, it's really hard to communicate the performance or effectiveness of a quick dry glossy top coat in a video. <laughs> It's not really something you can see, it's just something you can feel when you smack your hand into something and your nail polish gets dented. I have in my own personal experiments over the years tested probably 10 different quick dry top coats. If you're curious which one I use, all you gotta do is look at the links in my video description boxes. Wow, Christine, you really put that information in there? Yes, I do. It's really helpful to people who look there. Wow, I should really look at your description box. There's information and descriptions there. F yes, there is. Why are you talking to yourself? That's weird. Shut the f up, why don't you? Well, these nails are matte and black.
I'm bored, let's put some f***ing hollow tacos on it, yeah! Oh yeah, rainbows, yeah, f*** up, yeah! Beautiful, so much better. But what happens when you put a matte top coat over a hollow taco? Oh, well that's just f***ing ugly and boring. I don't see any rainbows anymore. Where did they go? I can't find them. Now what if we put a glossy taco over top of the matte taco, over the hollow taco, over a matte taco, over a black nail polish? Well, the good news is it brought some of the hollow rainbow back. And the bad news is it just looks dull. The black is not really black anymore, it's more gray. Well, I was curious and don't deny, so were you. <laughs> now what if we put a matte taco over on- No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if it even matters to you. <laughs> and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!